And we are live here on the campus of Springfield College. I'm Tony Petaway. I'm joined by Lorenzo Gaines on tonight as we sit atop of it all, looking down on everything significantly. Uh, two really good teams matched up here, but before we get into tonight's lineup, we'll just share with you the game that just was on tap with North Worcester successful over a Windsor team of uh, great coaches on both sides of the court with uh, Al Petway, the state champions of last year, and uh, Coach Smith, uh, no stranger to high school basketball in this year. We'll go live to the court now for the starting lineups, and we'll ask you to join us. Definitely. Uh, uh, they're about eight minutes away. They're going through the lineup for Northwestern, and... Uh, Looks like the crowd is settling in. In the starting lines, number two in your program this evening, Anthony Thompson's joined by number 23, uh, Liam Cochlin. Cochlin, thank you. Mm -hmm. And he'll be joined by number four, it appears, Gio Gianni Marabello. Awesome now as we look for the completion of that starting lineup. We'll go to the court now, as you see in your viewership, number 30. Jackson uh, Maurer, uh, number 23, Sam Mayfield. Number zero, Tafari Reed will be joined by number 32, Garrett Anderson. And rounding out the starting lineup, the junior, number 33 in your program, Ryan Vitovelli, coached by our very own Justin D'Alessio. A little history with uh, Justin as we were talking pregame. Uh, great, outstanding player at Cathedral High School, a Panther. And it was so nice to come in today and see Coach Jeannie Eagleston. The great Cathedral games, those battles between uh, Springfield Public Schools and now, our parochial schools were encountered in that as uh, Division I basketball was something to be seen. Now fast forward, uh, post-tornado, we have rising out of the ashes, Pope Francis High School. Well, they got some phenomenal players. I know I've been uh, one to watch is Sam Mayfield. I see Sam playing above the rim. Uh, he's developed into a premier player. He's about to take the tip off. So you got 23 versus 15 out there for the tip off. And Pope Francis has recovered the ball. Coming across the half court line is uh, Ryan. The, I'm not even going to try that. But he just missed a little layup. And now we have... Uh, Northwestern Catholic going across, taking a three-point attempt. No good. Rebound is number two, Andrew. Anthony Thompson Anthony. in your program there. As we settle in, we ask that you do. You're watching Focus Springfield here at game number one of our broadcast. For the Hoop Hall Classic, we got some amazing lineups. If you get a chance to log on to www.hoophall.com for your rosters and a little history on each of the teams as they take court. We'll go back to the action. Yeah, definitely. We got a uh, foul going back this way. I think it was a charge. So uh, absolutely. Northwest Catholic has possession of the ball. Timeout. I mean, sideline ball entry. Going into number four, Liam Gianni Marabello coming across half court. Nice dribble, good defense from um, Pope Catholic, Pope Francis, excuse me. All right, we're at the top of the key. And a uh, little dribble penetration. Looks like it's going to be kicked back out to the three-point line. And we got uh, number three, Shauna Key, in your program. All right, we got a foul. Got the referees out there controlling the game, controlling the tempo. It's about six minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Score is 0-0. No one has scored a bucket yet. I think it's a one-in-one -one situation here. And uh, Gia Gianni uh, Marabello is on the line. He's going to do a one-in-one -one here. Might be our first shot at some points on the board. There we go, 1-0. to zero. 
Nice fundamentals on his shot there. Very square to the basket and great release. Let's see what he does on shot number two. Shot number two is up in the air and it's good. So we got 2-0. We got about six minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Pope Francis bringing the ball over the half court line nice and smooth. Looks like they're communicating well. Little dribble penetration. This first quarter action brought to you by our good friends at Morgan Stanley. And uh, it looks like Pope Francis got, the, got something. Ooh, got a nice hard foul in the paint there. Oh, maybe not. Looks like it'll travel. Okay, still the first quarter. Six minutes, 19 seconds. Score is a two to zero. Visiting team is Northwest Catholic High School out of Connecticut, coached by uh, John Marabello. Against our own local, Pope Francis. All right, rebound Pope Francis coming over. Nice pass, outlet pass at 33. Dribble drive, nice. Now we got a tied score, 2-0, two 2-2. Zero, two -two. As each teams are beginning to fill each other out as they're playing man-to-man -man defense to kind of see who's going to get the advantage from a physicality standpoint, and they'll settle into that zone once they realize it's still a little cool in here and the shooters aren't hot yet. For sure, definitely. Looks like they're uh, doing a little, ooh, got a nice turnover. Coming across the half court line. Ooh, a reverse layup. Nice hands by uh, number 33, Ryan Vill Vito Velli. So it looks like he's got uh, two points out of the four. Guys are playing good defense. Hand down, man down. Rebound. Ryan. Vitavelli over half court line, nice outlet pass. Three points up in the air, no good. Rebound 32, Garrett Anderson. Northwest Catholic is bringing it over. Outlet pass, baseline, out of bounds, stays. Vitavelli with both baskets uh, as they are ahead by four to two at this particular point. Uh, this first quarter again is brought to you by our good friends at Morgan Stanley. You're listening to the voices inside your head. <laughs> and that's not the police, that's Mr. Lorenzo Gaines and I'm Tony Petaway. Stick and stay with us. That's right, we're uh, calling the game on behalf of Springfield Focus and uh, it's a great time to be in the city of Springfield, the birthplace of basketball. Remember this is the Hoop Hall Plastic. It's Thursday, January 11th. We got live action on the floor. Ooh, nice foul, nice call. Foul on number. All right, foul on number three, Sean Akey. So uh, Sean's got first foul, got a uh, sideline, nope, baseline in. Pope Francis has the ball. Top of the key, number zero. Ooh, rebound, up for good for two. Another basket for number 33 in your program who leads all scores with all baskets made <laughs> for Pope Francis. Vita Velo. Looking at uh, Pope Francis. Oh, look at that, good hustle play. Oh, yep, tied up, possession will, will remain. Correction, uh, change of possession, it will go with the Cardinals, uh, who will inbound with three minutes and 48 seconds left in this first quarter of action. It's definitely been a little bit slow with the offense, but definitely great defense. Pope Francis has had a quite busy schedule uh, this, this season and this month. They played side tech, winning 63 to 48. They beat Long Meadow 69 to 42. They beat Construction Trade 70 to 32. So they've been, uh, they've been out there doing their thing. 
Most recently, they beat uh, Sabas International Charter School 71 to 44. Wow. So, so uh, he's got some studs, and, and what that says with score differentials like that, that he's got gut balance, and he's able to rest his horses. He's got a deep bench so others can come in and spell other players, which is what you want to see if, you know, you're a senior or a junior and you want some playing time, if the guys, the starters can get out there and get you a decent lead to where they're comfortable with the lead and others can contribute to the game. You have a better bus ride home. You have parents who don't call and uh, are talking about uh, <laughs> As we joke here at top, yeah. we're asking that you stay tuned with us for this first of two games tonight. Yeah. I'm excited about the second one as well. Uh, where Central Golden Eagles will be in action against St. Raymond, which is promising to be a good one. So stay with us. This first quarter of action, a little under three minutes and some ticks on the clock left in this one, as they say. Two minutes in some change. Absolutely. Correction on that. Uh, the 9 o'clock today is Springfield Central High School versus Putnam Vocational High School. Got a little ahead of myself. That's tomorrow's game. Yeah, we're going to have uh, Coach Lou Rowe, former basketball player at UMass Amherst, was on the 96 team, I think, that went 25-0. and 0. So uh, he's been coaching high school basketball for a couple years now. Uh, they have uh, had a pretty good schedule as well, but uh, we'll talk more about them later. Right now, two minutes and 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Looks like there's a timeout. It's 11 to 6. That last basket made by number two in your program, Jackson Edwards, tickles the nylons for us a little bit. Your score, 11 6. We'll take a quick pause for the cause, and we'll be right back with more. Basketball action. I. So we'll look at uh, Thursday's schedule, if you will. Uh, fill a little time here. Uh, yeah. The 7:30, as you were witnessing, uh, with Pope Francis High against Northwest Catholic High School out of Connecticut. The 9 o'clock schedule, uh, Springfield Central High School out of Springfield, Massachusetts, will take on yet another Springfield Public School and Putnam Vocational High. It's promising to be a, a showdown of sorts as bragging rights are on the table. Absolutely. Those inner city rivals are, are definitely uh, what dreams are made of when kids are able to showcase their talent in front of a local crowd on the national stage. You know, this is the birthplace of basketball, and uh, they have a um, world-class facility, and there's world-class scouts here. So it's time to make a statement, you know. Some young kids are going to come out here, have a breakout game. They're going to apply everything that the coaches are, are, are teaching and uh, should be very, very interesting. Rebound as the Pope Francis Cardinals uh, are on the offense. Uh, they spread it out around the perimeter. It's touched two or three times, which is a sign of great coaching. Yeah, moving the ball around. Oh, They got a lot of length. They're using the, their length to try and uh, create some opportunities, get that spacing right. So let's see, we got a guy down in the box. Here we go, we got Mayfield. He gets stripped by number four. Ooh, nice bucket, tough drive. As you indicated, I would give the leaning of the ledger to the Cardinals as their backcourt is decent size, but that front court, geez, mm. look, look, they're, they're amongst the timber out there. <laughs> Got Just missed a little buddy off the, 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 the box there. One minute, less than one minute to play. Mayfield, uh, son of a friend of mine, uh, Rodney C. Uh, stand out at the old Technical High School. Tech Tigers. Yes, sir. Uh, at Black and are. Orange. I'm rocking mm -hmm. my black, my orange Adidas. Ooh, nice rebound by number 15. 
All right, Pope Francis. Defense. Oh, offensive draw and foul drawn on number 22 from Pope Francis. Thompson at the line. Thompson at the line for two. About 26 ticks on the clock, and the first quarter will be a wrap. Looks like it's uh, going to be some substitutions coming in. Well, decent half of uh, first quarter of action, if you would, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, your score, 11 10 at this point, um, as you said, as we come to the close of the first quarter of action. Brought to you by our good friends at Morgan Stanley. Yes, Morgan Stanley, where talent, let me see what their slogan is. Very interesting. Oh, I lost my little page here. That's not good. Basket's good by Anderson. One tick left. Oh, and that calls the first quarter. And your score is 13 12 as it's a close one here, a one point differential. We'll take a quick pause for the cause and we'll be back with the second quarter of action brought to you by Panini. As they reduce the moisture on the surface, we get back to the action. For those of you just joining us, it's the Pope Francis High School Cardinals in action against the Northwest Catholic High School out of Connecticut, representing the Nutmeg State. Yes, 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 score is uh, 12 to 13. Oh. Ball will be inbounded by Northwest to start this second quarter of action. All right, so we got uh, Pope Francis with the ball on the box. Ooh, nice little up and under by 32 in your program. Garrett Anderson is out there scoring again. Oh, launched a three. Rebound, Garrett Anderson off to number zero. Tafari Reed over with a nice pull up jumper. No good. Rebound, uh, Northwestern Catholic High School over the half court line to the baseline. Back out to the three point line. Nice ball movement. And a three-pointer. Scores 15 to 15 with seven minutes left in the second quarter. Pope Francis uh, is bringing the ball over. You got Tafari Reed playing the guard position. No boxing out, gotta get going, gotta transition. Nice move. Ooh, nice, nice move. Travel. One step too many. <laughs> so one small step for mankind and an extra one. <laughs> Turnovers today uh, brought to you by our good friends. Uh, Gatorade, the official soft drink of the Hoop Hall Classic. I'd like to thank our many supporters and sponsors, beginning with each and every one of YOU at home in this viewership on today. Basket's good. The three-pointer goes. Jackson Moore for a trifecta.
It is great to see so many uh, faithful from yeah. around. I'm looking up in the stands. I see Coach William Shepard. Uh, we coach so many of those great STCC uh, national championships, and of course at uh, Roger Putnam Vocational. Uh, Kudos to coach and all that he has meant to the game and to the young people's lives that he's affected with his instruction and, and role model. Absolutely, you know, being a graduate of the High School of Commerce, Red Raiders, class of, uh, I think, 86. Also was on the Western Mass Championship team with Gary Bestman and uh, Sam Shepard and a few others. So Coach Bestman has done really well, you know, taking a step back coaching and now just taking in the game you know it's nice to see him absolutely and as mentioned probably before our broadcast uh, in the building uh, no stranger to a basketball or definitely on the women's side of house on the commentator side of house as well as we broadcast and a contributor uh, to the basketball hall of fame is a hall of famer in all right uh, miss rebecca lobo is sitting courtside with her family and and they're taking in the action uh, i'm super excited about having an opportunity to not only cover this game and the boys game to follow but on tomorrow at one o'clock we'll be able to do the women's action uh, lady golden eagles are promising to be very entertaining great brand of basketball brought to us Def Anderson at the line, excuse me. No, definitely you were mentioning uh, Rebecca Lobo. Many folks might not know she was just born 20 minutes down the road in Hartford, Connecticut. She is of uh, C Cuban descent. While her mother was German and Irish, she was raised Catholic, and she played in the NBA from 97 to 2003. So we've got uh, Garrett Anderson with the ball. Ooh, nice alley-oop to through. Sam. Mayfield with the dunk, two hands. That's a high percentage shot there, <laughs> a very high percentage shot. We love to see those. Yes. Now he's out there playing good defense, got his arms spread, so shot blocker. Forced, did he force the turnover? Yes, he did. Got to travel off of uh, Northwest Catholic, so another turnover. The second quarter starts to wind down. Scores 20 to 19 with four minutes and 28 seconds. We are uh, at the birthplace of basketball. We are also at the Hoop Hall Classic. And uh, it's interesting, the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame Hoop Hall Classic annually features the type high school players. So uh, if you're not doing anything this MLK weekend, make sure you make your way on over here. Absolutely, this second Water of Action brought to you by Panini. And our turnovers are sponsored by our good friends, the official soft drink, Gatorade. Oh, yeah, Gatorade. The drink of the NBA. Well, this event is held over MRL Week, Martin Luther King weekend at Springfield College Blake Arena and has hosted NBA, champ NBA champions and all-stars. Many NBA first-round draft picks, you know. We've had uh, LeBron James' son most recently here. We got uh, a couple of uh, blue-chip players, as they say. Absolutely. If you look to the baseline, you can see some the likes of K KD, uh, Kevin Durant, of course, the Boston Celtic uh, star himself, with, uh, Jason Tatum, and many others, AD, and so mm -hmm. many more that can be mentioned on the men's side of the house, and not to be outdone, the women. Uh, so many wonderful players have came through here, Della Donna, and just to name a few. We'll go back to the action, and we'll come mm -hmm. back with more of those marquee names who are making it happen at the next level. Back down to the game in session. Shots up. 23 looks good. Leo with the basket. Yeah, 24 to 24. Conklin's uh, definitely getting a rhythm. Ooh. It's great to see uh, some fundamentally sound basketballs. You don't see backs to the rim anymore. Yeah. Everyone's kind of spreading it out and, and stroking it from way outside, uh, like they're allergic to the paint, you know. Yeah. But, you know, 
Well, Francis is out here getting after the ball, playing good defense. Nice rebound by uh, Mayfield. Outlet pass to Tafari Reed coming across the half court line. Okay, nice little dribble penetration and up for two. Ooh, called for an offensive foul. Uh, turnover. Uh, today's turnover is brought to you by our good <laughs> friends at Gatorade. This year, 54 teams from across the country will participate in what is widely known as the top high school basketball event in the United States. And uh, right now before us, we got about two minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. We got Northwestern handling the ball out by the three point line at the top of the key. Number four is firing away and it's good. It's 27 to 24 with two minutes left and we got uh, Tafari Reed coming over the half court line looking for a outlet pass to number three. Where that uh, shot by Gianni Marbello looked really good from the release. Yeah. Uh, I was just waiting for it to do what it did. Yeah. <laughs> that was all net. Bottoms. Sub substitutions returning to the Pope Francis lineup. Number 22 in your program. Jackson Edwards rejoins the lineup. Good size young man. Need, need, need some bodies out there. Oh, what's the call? Travel, all right. Got to travel against Northwest Catholic. We have a little under two minutes uh, left in this second quarter brought to you by our good friends at Penani. Stay tuned for the Nike halftime as we will rehash the rosters and bring you up to speed on some of the top scores and give you a little bit of information you may not know a little bit about. Absolutely, definitely full of information. Again, we got some blue chip players here we want to talk about, boys and girls. Got some outstanding uh, local talent to talk about and highlight, you know, our student athletes born in the 413. Ooh, you're listening to Focus Springfield. I'm Tony Petaway, and I'm joined by Lorenzo Gaines. That's right, the golden voice from outside the lines with Lorenzo Gaines every Tuesday from 8 to 9 on WTCC FM 90.7. Honor and privilege to be here. Kind of getting broken in. <laughs> got one, go ahead. Less than one minute left, and uh, Pope Francis got the ball, kind of controlling. The flow, oh, three ball, three ball rounds in and out. Mayfield gets it, nice pass to, ooh, number 22. Scores 26 to 29, looks like there's a timeout. Well, as they uh, take a timeout and well-deserved breathers, we'd like to say some kudos and some hellos. I'd like to thank uh, Greg Persimo and uh, John DeLiva and the fine staff, Scott, and so many others who are over there at the Basketball Hall of Fame for bringing this uh, state-of-the-art, uh, world-class event to us uh, here on the grounds of Springfield College, uh, the birthplace of basketball, and the, the pairing of sorts of these great teams coming out with these schedules where folks can really enjoy a good brand of you know, high school basketball, which is exciting. It's above the rim. It's fundamentally sound on both sides of the house. And, and kudos to them for having the vision and forethought to include the young ladies. Because often we, we talk a good game, but they walk the walk and talk the talk. So oh. kudos to them. Yeah, it's quite an honor. You know, got to give a big kudos and shout out to the people's mayor, Dominic J. Sarno in the city of Springfield. Our host, as the world's attention is on Springfield and the Hoopal Classic. Big shout out to Mary Beth Cooper, the president of Springfield College, and as you mentioned, the president and CEO of the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, John DeLiva. Uh, definitely, definitely have put together a well-run and well-oiled machine. It's really nice to see the student athletes out here getting this real-world experience. Got a lot of Springfield College students uh, running critical parts of this presentation. So. Uh, Less than a minute to go. We get back to the live action. Got the three ball in the air. Rebound number 15 from uh, Northwest Catholic. Ryan Tolver. Scores 26 to 31. 
Pope Francis is uh, Tafir Reed. Turns over the ball, over the half court line. Got number three, throwing it up. Ooh, nice, nice, nice finish by uh, oh, Mayfield. Mayfield, nice finish. I tell you, on that last basket, uh, Tolliver looked really good with the put back. Very nice square to the basket. But as you mentioned, the escalation point on the other end by Mayfield. Your score at the end of two quarters of action. We're at the half, 33 to 28 is your score. We'll take a quick pause for the cause and we'll be right back with the second half of action and more common to Harry. And we are back to the action. Your tale of the tape at the half will begin with the Northwest Catholic High School. Big seven points made by number two in your program, Anthony Thompson. Two points by Sean Aki. 11 points leading all scores is number four, Gianni Marbella. And six points for Tyler Uvegas. And rounding out your scores for Northwest, three points for Liam Conklin. And on the Francis Pope side of house, eight points for Sam Mayfield, three for Jackson Maurer, and eight points for Garrett Anderson, and six points for Ryan Bettovelli. Yep, that'll do it. That means it's 28 to 33. Second half is upon us. We got uh, Northwestern Catholic bringing the ball over half court. That last pass is good by Sam Mayfield, pushing his score or scoring up to 10 points. This third quarter action is brought to you by Nike. Remember to follow us uh, for the latest news and updates at uh, Facebook.com, BBHOF. On Twitter, formerly known as uh, Twitter, or is it X, is uh, Hoopal, at Hoopal. And then Instagram is at Hoopal. And the official Hoopal for YouTube. I am sitting here live at the birthplace of basketball on the campus of Springfield College with TLP. We are calling the Pope Francis Northwestern High School game at the Hoopal Classic. Uh, what a honor and what a privilege. Want to thank you for tuning in. And up and back at them. Good for two is number. Reed with the basket. Zero, our hero on this evening. <laughs> <laughs> As he pulls within one of the lead of the Northwest Catholic High School out of Connecticut. For those of you just joining us, you are going to be in for a treat as we are in the second half, this third quarter of action, as mentioned at the top of the broadcast, is brought to you by our friends at Nike. Three-point basket. Conklin is warming it up. Ooh. Got a hard foul by uh, Pope Francis, number 32, Garrett Anderson. His second personal foul. We have uh, Northwest Catholic bringing the ball over nice and slow. Uh, Anthony Thompson. Good defense by uh, Pope Francis. Got their hands up, got number uh, 30. Putting the pressure on the ball. Jackson Mauer. Good hoop. Sean Akey with the trifector. Mm -hmm. Tafai Reed throws up the three off the front of the rim. And out of bounds, it is a Northwest Catholic ball. Sideline out. 
with uh, five minutes and 22 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Temple's slowed on both sides of the court as they're filling each other out, a little like what they did in the first quarter there. Man-to-man -man defense. Uh, every bucket's going to be earned here. Absolutely. Got a nice turnover, a nice steal by Pope Francis, number 32. Garrett Anderson clogging up the paint. Got a three ball up, rebound. Northwestern over the half. Outlet pass to uh, Malachi. Really hits that three. It's great to see the uh, cheerleaders for the Putnam High School are making their way in as the young ladies will represent their school spirit. Uh, we're super excited for game number two. Tipping off in about 32 minutes, top of the hour, 9 o'clock. Two local powerhouses, Springfield Golden Eagles and uh, Putnam Vocational Beavers. Oh, good offense, good uh, defensive foul, good turnover by uh, Pope Francis. Player control foul. A great anticipation on the defender to stand there and, and sacrifice himself. That's a big boy down there in the paint. <laughs> boy, I don't know if I would have. He, he looked like he got up slow. He paid the price. But, you know, good fundamental basketball on behalf of Pope Francis, you know. Got to clog the paint, slow him down. We got a three up in the air. No good. Tolliver with a really nice rebound on that one. Back over to the hot hand. Off the mark this time. Kept alive. Ooh. Great drop step, but tipped away by Mayfield. We'll see what the Cardinals have in store. Mayfield running the court. Got uh, Tofar, Reed with the ball. Good control, good handle, top of the key. Uh, turned over. Oh, scrambling for the ball. We got two of them on the ground. 33's got the ball going, driving. Baseline outlet pass to Sam. 22. Nice. Foul on Northwest Catholic against uh, Jackson Edwards. Going to the line. Looking forward to hearing from uh, Duane Early, the athletic director for the Springfield Public Schools, talking about the student athletes and uh, how important it is for uh, parents, coaches, and um, the community to support our scholar athletes during this hoop hall weekend. So, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. Got a dynamic schedule coming up. Got some girls. The girls, Central Girls play at 1 o'clock on January 12th against Hamden Hill, Connecticut. Hamden High School in Connecticut. And uh, that should be a doozy. You can definitely catch that on Baller TV. Right now, we got three minutes to go in the action. 33 to 42. Got a nine point lead over Pope Francis, Northwest Catholic High School out of Connecticut does, handling the ball, a lot of pressure. Yeah. Tell you to pick it up the tenacity on the defensive side of the house. I mean, you can't tell these kids uh, that every possession doesn't count, as it will. Uh, as the coaches are surveying and seeing who's putting in that work because if you don't want to put that work in, there's some really nice seats next to the coach. <laughs> Bob Nice said it best. <laughs> you don't put in that work, you won't be in on the next play. Basket good by Tolliver. Ooh. Nice big time move by Mayfield. For sure. Oh, the pace is, and tempo was quickening. Tolliver outside. A little Two ball, shots, good. Ooh. Looked like Kyle Macy on that. Bit nice squared up and great fundamentals on the follow through. Right, yeah, right at the uh, free throw line. You mm -hmm. know, just stop and pop. 
Squared the shoulders. He made a living doing that. Hmm. Tell you. That eight to 15 foot shot way outside, off the mark, strongly rebound. To the wing, to the corner, Tolliver, booyah! Timeout will come with plenty of action like that. <laughs> and just like that, they're back up comfortably at this point in the game. Yeah, definitely up comfortably with uh, 14 points in a minute and 39 left in the third quarter. It looks like uh, Pope Francis wants to talk some things over. <laughs> this time I was brought to you by our good friends at Spalding, the official game ball of the Hoop Hall Classic. That's it can right. be found on basketball courts anywhere, driveways. Yeah, Spalding, the official ball of the NBA. Today's game is brought to you by our good friends at Morgan Stanley Panini, the Basketball Hall of Fame, and of course our good friends here at Springfield College, the official soft drink, uh, Gatorade and uh, Nike. We'd like to thank you for your support of the wonderful sport of basketball and the wonderful community that comes out and supports it. Got a couple of banks that are uh, contributors to this event. You've got Florence Savings Bank and you've got Freedom Credit Union right here in Springfield, Massachusetts on Main Street. Best of luck to all of the players, participants in the 2024 Spalding Hoop Hall Classic. The freedom to fly. Yeah, we come back to the action. Uh, the voices in your ear are yours truly, Tony Petaway, and joined by Zoe Gaines of Zoe's Lit Lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> what an honor and pleasure to be sitting next to you. Uh, the voice of reason and the voice of knowledge. That's right, TLP. The founder of the Greater Springfield Pro and Basketball League Incorporated. Uh, has called a number, a few games in his lifetime, so definitely look forward to learning from you as the ball goes up and another two points in the bucket. It's 51 to 35 with less than one minute left and your boy Ryan is uh, heating up down there. Ryan yeah. Tolver, yeah. class of 11. I leads all scores at this point uh, on his team but tied for the leading score with number 23 in your program on the Pope Francis side of the house, and that's big Mayfield. Ooh, went up for the dunk, got a hard foul. It looked like that those two were playing head-to-head -head ball, Ryan and uh, Sam. Well, we have ourselves a legitimate battle of the border, border states, and Connecticut being represented fine uh, with the likes of Northwest Catholic High and our very own right here in the birthplace of basketball, in the home of the Basketball Home Hall of Fame in the City of First. That's right, the City of First. We want to welcome you and thank you. A uh, lot to see here in the City of First as we continue the renaissance and the economic development. Springfield College has been a gracious host to this fine Hoop Hall Classic since, ooh, I don't know, 2013? Well, we got a little bit more action to go. It's 22 seconds left in the third quarter. You have Northwest Catholic handling the ball right over the free throw line. Anthony Thompson passes off to uh, Gianni Marabello. Close, but no cigar or cigarette smoking in the building. And with that, your score 54-37 as we prepare for the fourth and final quarter of this first of two games for our broadcast schedule today. As we look and see the faithful from the Central High School Golden Eagles uh, cheerleaders are making their way in as we saw the Putnam Vocational Beavers make their entrance 
And as the crowd gets into this one as a free T-shirt <laughs> tossed in any section will get the blood pressures up and your hands up on defense. Definitely, this is the place to be. If you don't know, now you know. This is the stars of the future, and they are on the campus of Springfield College. That's right, the birthplace of basketball. You got a number of blue chip players. You got some high level scouting going on, and you just got some local talent getting yes, ready. Yes, yes, and yes. This Martin Luther King uh, holiday weekend. Yes, and yes. Got a little uh, basketball. Who is that? Is that Houdini? They're playing bad. Is that Houdini? First bad ball. No, that's Curtis Blow Curtis with a Blow. K. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the K is for cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not to be mistaken for LL. Cool, Jay. Yeah, that's right. And the L's are for? Ladies love. <laughs> cool J. There you go. <laughs> a little hip hop trivia as it's the 50th year, the golden year of hip hop, and uh, we are all about it. We got the drip. And looking uh, courtside at the moniker there, Jesus took time out too. Wow, that profound. Well, hey, check he gets us dot com. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yes, yes, and remember to follow us on Facebook at uh, facebook.com, B-B-H-O-F, on uh, Twitter at Hoopal, and all social media. So uh, get official latest news information and highlights from this weekend's Martin Luther King Hoopal Classic. Honored to be here on behalf of Focus Springfield. And yes, as mentioned, you are watching Focus Springfield. The voices you are being treated to on this evening are those of Tony Petaway, and I'm joined by none other than Lorenzo Gaines of Zolid Lifestyle. 56-39 uh, is your score at this time uh, as Northwest Catholic is pulling away on this one, but as we know, those well-coached teams of uh, D'Alessio will make a fight back at this uh, lead. Yeah, for so sure. stay tuned. Stay tuned to Focus Springfield. The public channel is number 12. The educational channel is 15. And the government channel is 17. Focus Springfield does a plethora of things. And uh, we want to thank them for all that they do to improve the quality of life for Springfield residents through stimulating economic development and community building, education training. Uh, the studio is designed as a mixed use studio, so if you need to learn more, definitely reach out to them at 1200 Main Street, Springfield, Mass 01103. Basket made by the big man, number 23 himself, Mayfield, with his 16th point leading scores on his team as he's tied with the scoring efforts of number four, mm -hmm. Marabello, the coach's kid, mm -hmm. and number 15 in your program, Tolliver, one-two punch for the Northwest Catholic High School. As they reduce the moisture at the <laughs> break here and make the surface safe for those who are out there, we encourage you to log on and stay with us throughout this Martin Luther King weekend. Uh, log on to www.hoophall.com for more scheduling and upcoming events uh, as we look forward to this year's enshrinement class, which is boasting the likes of who we got on tap here. We got uh, Sean Marion as a hopeful. Yeah. And of course, Michael Cooper is another name floated about at this particular point, and, and others. But uh, I tell you, we had an amazing time on last uh, enshrinement this August as it shifts from its traditional uh, time frame of September to, to the end of August now. So we're looking at an August 17th date. Boy, I had so much fun at Dwayne Wade's uh, uh, fun session, shall oh, we say. Oh, yeah. Well, it was just a very well, well, well done enshrinement. 
in induction ceremony itself and all the after parties and all the educational events hosted in the, the Hall of Fame itself on East Columbus. So, man, it was a good time, boy. Some, there's some folks that know how to throw a party. Yes, when you can look around the room and see the likes of some of your favorite current players and Jason Tatum and uh, the likes of AI, Allen Iverson, the names go on and on. Gary Payton. Chris Paul. Uh, who's Hall coming out to support their guy, if you will. And uh, we're looking forward to next year, which will be announced at the Final Four, uh, uh, the 24 class uh, finalists. And we'll see what that will bring to Springfield in August. So stay tuned for more information in your vir virtual tour of the hall. Log on to www.hoophall.com. Absolutely. We have about uh, five minutes and 20 seconds left in this game. It is uh, 41 to 58 with uh, Northwest Catholic uh, starting to pull away just a little bit. But it's still within reach. I mean, the three-point line makes this thing uh, within reach if you get hot like here. Here we go. Uh, a couple more of those, and you shoot yourself right back into this one. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Three-point by Jackson Edwards. He is, uh, he is now has eight points total. Oh, good defense, half court, back court pressure. Oh, nice. Ooh, not quite. Uh, the Pope Francis put on some back court pressure, almost got a turnover. Playing great defense. They have the right scheme, uh, the double down on the high scores and try to force someone else to make the shot. In mm -hmm. that instance, you get the long rebound because you do have the height differential. Grab the rebound and go down and try to do something a little more high percentage, bring it into the paint. Hopefully draw the foul, rest a little bit, and go with all you have in this last four minutes and 29 seconds of action. Yeah, we got about four minutes and 29 seconds left in the action. Northwest is taking the ball on the uh, outside on the top of the key. It's just been inbounded to number four, Giovanni Marabello. Driving, kick out pass, baseline, layup. Pope Francis is coming over the ball with Tafari Reed. Nice teardrop down the middle, two points, it's good. 46 to 60. I think we got a timeout. It's putting up a fight. It's not over. Got uh, 14 points down. They, uh, they play that good defense and get those outlet passes. Pope Francis still can be in the conversation. Absolutely. And for those of you who are big hip hop friends uh, and the likes of Ice Cube and others who are contributors to the game. Uh, the three on three, as we know, the big three uh, has uh, garnered up some support and sponsorship uh, nationally as former players uh, are making their way into the rosters and having a little fun, making a little change and uh, will be honoring the Basketball Hall of Fame in the city of Springfield uh, on uh, Sunday at 1 p.m. at the Basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, the man himself, uh, first Friday, Friday, and the Friday after, and <laughs> so many other uh, great movies and great music, uh, a contributor to uh, what is entertainment in its many forms. I'd like to uh, thank Ice Cube for his support. Uh, well, and you know. as we look uh, courtside, we need to get in touch with that gentleman right there who's making his way to those really nice uh, seats. seats. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Dwayne Early, the Springfield Public School Athletic Director. I'd like to get a mic over to him and have a conversation, as you mentioned. And uh, he's with the principal, principal George Johnson That's right. of Putnam Vocational. But back to the action, we got a little more than four minutes and left in this one. 
Yeah, well, they've got a huddle uh, midcourt here, and uh, they're regrouping Northwest Catholic. It's uh, 46 to 60. So uh, you got a 14 point lead. You got a one and one at the line with number 23, Ly Liam Coughlin. He made both of them. Tafari Reed is coming over half court. Good control of the ball. He throws up a three pointer. Liam Coughlin to the hole. Excuse me, Gia, Gianni Marabello. All right, here comes, uh, was it Ryan? Yeah, Ryan, it looks like he's handling the ball for a tall guy. Ethan Anderson, oh, he's 6'3 forward. He looks, Ethan. Okay. New. No. Ryan Tover, as I said. Got it. All right, we got two minutes, 39 section, seconds, and a uh, foul against Pope Francis. Number. Jackson Mauer. This free throw minute is brought to you by um, Freedom Credit Union. That's right, the Freedom of Yours. They are a sponsor for the Hoop Hall Classic. We also have uh, Gatorade, the best, the, what does it say, the best, drink the best? <laughs> That's right, the best, use the best, Gatorade. So uh, for all your hydration needs, don't forget to drink Gatorade to stay hydrated as you play the game that you love, basketball. A little action on the floor. Northwest Catholic bringing the ball over. Number three, Sean Avery. Tolliver shots up, up. and nothing but nets. Timeout call. This one's elementary. Uh. And we are back with two minutes and 12 ticks on your clock. I'm Tony Petaway, and I'm joined by Lorenzo Gaines of Zolet Lifestyle. We are calling the game of uh, Pope Francis, for also known as, formerly known as uh, Cathedral High. Ooh, hard foul, Pope Francis. Well, as a uh, look to name the MVP, um, who do you think? I mean, the points leader is number four in the heart of North West Catholic High is Giovanni Marbello, uh, who's put his blood, sweat, and tears in on this game on both ends. Uh, he's all, he's pretty much mopped the floor up <laughs> with uh, his tenacity on the defensive side. And, the stroke is, is smooth. He reminds me of blades of uh, uh, Kyle Macy, which probably doesn't make any sense to some of these youngsters. But great, great ball player in his right. Um, 
I love to see the undersized player who has heart and what he lacks in s s size and stature, he makes up in heart and, yeah. and agility. And, uh, oh, for sure. He looks like a coach's son doing his thing out there. He's so at the line, uh, our points leader at this point, number four. You think I jinxed him? Uh, I think you did jinx him with one minute and 41 seconds left. Well, this is a good tune-up for the Pope Francis High Cardinals as they get back in the conference and will finish the rest of their season. They're a force to be reckoned with and a great team to watch. Uh, well coached by the Coach D'Alessio and staff. Mm -hmm. We wish them the best of luck the remainder of this season and hopefully we'll see them in the postseason as they strive and move toward a championship run. minute left to go 57 seconds cleaning the floor getting ready for the next game central looks like they're lined up over in that corner Put back short, kept alive underneath. Yeah. He's fouled in the act of shooting. With 2.3 on the clock. Yes, yes, it's your boy here at Zolid Lifestyle. We are on the campus of Springfield College with my man TLP. That's right, Tony L. Pettiway. We are broadcasting for the Hoop Hall Classic, my first time. Ah, gotta love it. Ooh wee, baby. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Your final score, 74 to 50, as the Northwest Catholic team is successful over the Pope. Francis Cardinals. So you want to go grab that mobile guy, like right there, that focus guy, and then we'll do 